Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, I've been trying to get this yeah. issue taken care of, and every time I call, I keep getting hung up on. What's your name? Yeah, Floyd Booker. Okay, can you verify me your address? Yes. It's 4278 Isaacs Creek Road. Illinois? Yep. Can I have your zip code? 62343. Can you verify me the last four digits of your social security number? Yeah, 5351. Five three five one, right? Yep. Yep. All right, just give me a moment. Let me pull up your case file, okay? Okay. Just gonna hang up on me too. Thank you, ma'am, for holding the line. Yeah. Yeah. So, ma'am, I want you to grab a piece of paper and pen to write down my name and my batch ID number. Okay, give me a second. I'm just grabbing over my desk to get a pen, a pen and paper right now. Let me see if the pen writes. Okay. All right, the pen writes. All right. My first name is Daniel. Daniel? Daniel? Yeah. Okay. My last name is Jones. It's J O N E S. Uh huh. My batch ID number is S S A seven eight nine four five. Seven eight what? Nine four five. Okay. So ma'am, this call is to notify you that your social security number has been found for criminal and fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. Weird. I've never been in Texas. I do understand, ma'am. I will surely let you know and provide you all the information, so I want you to listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay. So this investigation was started by the law enforcement agencies under your name and under your social security number. And they have found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. The make and model of the car was black Toyota Corolla with the plate number TX2440. This car was idle on the street and the locals have reported about this car to the local sheriff department and then they have done an investigation of the car they have found some blood and drugs inside the car which makes them totally enthralling to them and they have found out the car was rented under your name and under your social security number and the address that has been linked with your name and under your social security number the address is 7609 Claremont Avenue El Paso, Texas the zip code is 75089 so do you know about this address, ma'am? Uh, what was the address again? Seven six zero nine, 
Clermont Avenue, El Paso, Texas. The zip code is 75089. Uh, so do you know about this address? What was the zip code again? 75089. No, I don't even live there. Okay, ma'am, do you have any properties rented under your name or under your social security number in the state of Texas? No. No. All right, why I'm asking this question to you, ma'am, because when we have done further investigation, we have found out five properties which was rented under your name and under your social security number. And it was rated by the Texas State Rangers Division and U.S. Marshals Department. But unfortunately, there was no one available at the residence. Okay. But we have found some important documentation related to banking institutions like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank, TD Bank, Regions Bank. And from those banks, $236,799 has been wired locally and internationally, which is totally suspicious to us. And this money has been wired to narco trafficking countries and for criminal activity. Okay. So, ma'am, have you ever, ever lost your wallet or ID? No. No. Or have you ever shared any of your personal information in your past to your friends, family members, relatives? No. No. Okay, let me tell you that, ma'am. Right now, someone has an access to your personal information. Someone has been misusing your social security number in the state of Texas for criminal and fraudulent activities, which is the biggest concern for you as well as for us also, ma'am, for which you might be a victim of identity theft. So, based on trial of evidence, we have got three serious allegations against the culprit for the felony drug offense, which is like money laundering, theft by deception, misleading government information. So now the State Court House of Texas has decided to suspend your current social security number because we have an accused trial of suspicious information in our custody. And as you know, ma'am, two persons cannot use one social security number at the same time, right? Right. So ma'am, tomorrow morning we are going to fix up your appointment with two government officers. Two government officers will be coming to your house. They will sit beside you. They will show you some of your fake ID and documentation. And also they will generate you a new social security number for you in the next 48 hours. Okay? Okay. But before that, ma'am, we need to differentiate which is the true information and which is the fake information. As you need to shut down all the fake information that is running under your name and under your social security number. Okay? Mm hmm so ma'am, for that, I have to transfer your call to the U.S. Marshals Department to my higher authority because they are the ones, authorized person, will give you the proper information regarding this case and also they will provide you the officer's name and their numbers will be coming tomorrow to your house and also they are going to generate you a new social security number for you in the next 48 hours, okay ma'am? Okay. So just give me a moment, make sure to not disconnect the line ma'am, I'm going to transfer your call to the U.S. Marshals Department, just hold the line for a moment. Okay. Alright. Alright. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to Debbie Gunner. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, besides this. I'm talking to Mr. Booker. Yes, you're talking to Mr. Booker. Yes, ma'am. Can you grab a pen and a paper where you can write on my name and my badge ID number, sir? Yes. 
Thank you. My first name is Debbie with an I E. Hold on, my pen's my pen's conking out again. Mm. It's D I B B I E, right? That's right. Okay. My last name is Garner. It's G A R N E R. Gardner or Garner? There's no D. G A R N E R. Okay. I thought there was a D in the way you were pronouncing it. My badge ID number 601. Mm hmm. 113. Mm hmm. So here we are contacting you, sir, regarding the fraudulent activities which are going on under your name and your social security number. The officer who was talking to you has already tried and explained to you everything by giving you the information which we have. Do you have any questions for me or if you didn't understand anything, you may go ahead and ask me right away. No, I understand everything perfectly. Mm -hmm. Now, I hope you know that this case has been registered in the State Code of Taxes. We are contacting you from taxes to let you know that we have received the orders from the State Code of Taxes to go ahead and terminate your Social Security number today itself. Well, before we go ahead and do that, we wanted to inform you about it because we have a couple of questions for you regarding your assets to differentiate that which are your true information and which are the fake one. If you allow us, I can go ahead and ask you the questions one by one. Okay. Go ahead. Question number one. Do you have any properties under your name, like house, land, etc.? No. No. No properties? None. None. Do you have any cars under your name? And how, my, how many you have? I got one car, and that is mm. a Hummer, and that's a 2005 Hummer H3. Mm -hmm. And that is completely paid off. Okay. You have a driver license, is that right? Yes. That's a regular one? Yes. With how many financial institutes you are dealing with, and uh, what are they? Uh, I deal with TD Bank. TD Bank, you said? Yep. Only one bank you deal with? Yep. yep. Which types of account do you have at TD Bank, like check-in, saving, others? I got a uh, check-in account. Only check-in account, right? Yep. Do you have any kind of investments in your name, like 401k, IRA, money market, and unity, etc.? No. No. Do you have credit cards under your name? No. I would like to know the value of your checking account with TD Bank approximately, not the exact value. I think I got about five grand in there right now. All right. Now, sir, <clears throat> I'm sorry about it. We are going to freeze, seize all the information apart from the information which you have verified with us. That means the fake information which have been opened under your name has to be frozen today itself. Now what we are going to do is we have to terminate your social security number and generate the new one for you. Okay. In next 24 hours you would be getting a call from the social security administration to fix up an appointment for you with two U.S. Marshal officers so that we can hand over you the new social security card in your hand as we do not feel comfortable to provide you your new social security number over the phone. Okay. Is that understood, sir? Yeah. yeah. Any questions you have? No. Nope. For me? No. Nope. All right. So expect a call within 24 hours to fix up an appointment for you. All right, sir? Okay, you've been colloidy, Rundy. You scamming piece of shit. Sorry? You're a scamming piece of shit. Oh, no meltdown? Really? No writing to the store? No nothing? 
Wow.